What's up with y'all boys, man? As you can see, we on this Donovan Mitchell mid-range slasher build. And we finna take this build to the wreck with randoms and just run it up, you feel me? Make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get straight into it. Here go my attributes and everything. This is where I'm at with the build so far. And here go the animations that I'm using on this build. If y'all wanna use them, make sure you just pause the screenshot, do whatever you need to do to get these animations. And last but not least, here go the jump shot that I'm using in the video. Now this jump shot is extremely fast. So if you like fast jump shots, this is a jump shot for you. If you 6'4 and under, this is a pretty good jump shot to use as well. But let's get straight into it. All right, now we on to the gameplay. As you can see right here, I killed him with that step back. But I ain't gonna lie, I was cooking. Now look, these, like you know how I get it on the second half of my videos. I, after the intro, we just start talking to y'all boys. Now I see y'all, see I got a whole bunch of points, but it just jumped to these points. Most of these points were just wide open catch and shoot threes. I know y'all don't wanna see that. So I just show like the highlights of what I was doing, you feel me? But yeah, I'm just showing y'all highlights cause I don't you I know y'all play in the wreck and y'all be matching up with them people that just be constantly just trying to force contact dunks, forcing up bad shots. One thing about me, I'm not gonna be that person. If you ever get matched up with me, if you've ever been matched up with me, you know that I'm not the person that's gonna be trying to force up bad shots on people trying to get contact dunks or trying to fade me these all crazy. None of that. I ain't I ain't that type of person, bro. I, when I play in the wreck, bro, I'm not trying to be that person. I want you to be like, hey, he he, at least he was doing his job. He playing defense and he ain't taking no crazy shots because I'm not finna do that unless I'm just really on the, on the heat, on the tail, and I'm trying to like heat check or something. That's the only time. But this game right here, as you can see, I had to start running PG because these two guards that was on the team, they started like, throw, they was throwing a whole bunch of turnovers and everything. And I think I ended this game with like nine, nine assists or something like that. But I had to start running PG. Because, but if I wouldn't start a running PG, I had, we needed some steadiness. We needed a steady hand at the guard. And even though this player, as y'all seen at the beginning, only has a 70 pass accuracy, it, it's all about the IQ, you feel me? And as you see, I ended the game with nine points. I didn't shoot the best this game, but you know, I just had to show y'all. Like, I had, I be doing that thug, thizzle running PG, like Donovan Mitchell be doing in real life, you feel me? If you need me to run PG, I'm going to set y'all up for success, you feel me? But I was about to run out of breath, but I had to go on here to end that last one, you feel me? But you see, big contact dunk, oh my goodness. Now, as y'all as y'all probably been noticing as I've been like showing these clips, a lot of these dunk meters I be taking, be the, the green window be huge on them. And it's because you gotta know the angle of taking the dunk meter, you feel me? Like if the paint is open before you start the dunk meter, when you get into the dunk, like even if somebody come contest it, the green window still gonna be big. Now that was a small meter green, I ain't gonna lie to you. But it's still gonna be that same size, even if somebody jump in to contest you, if you start your contact dunk, when the paint is open. But you see me, I did the quick run out. I probably could've went up the dunk. I'm just so used to playing on bills with no dunk that I still kinda play like I don't got dunk on my player. So I, you will see me like a wide open cut to the goal and I wrap out and shoot a mid range instead of just taking the dunk. Because I'm like I said, I'm just so used to playing on players that's, on, that don't have no dunk rating at all, you feel me? But yeah, uh, that's one thing I'm gonna have to get used to you see wide open fast break dunk. It's a quick little video. I just wanted to bring y'all this Donovan Mitchell gameplay. I had some gameplay from last season, but I ended up scrapping all that, I think. It might actually be in the earlier clips, but I ended up scrapping most of it, I believe. So, and I just went on ahead and just put it in season five, you feel me? But yeah, if y'all enjoy this build, if y'all wanna see more gameplay on this build, just let me know by hitting the like button on the video. Um, More big guard build gameplay coming in the future too. So y'all stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, you see the contact dunk at the end of the game and the clutch. And then I missed this wide open three. Like, and off of play take too. But yeah, like I said, if y'all want to see more gameplay on this uh, mid-range slasher, let me know what other NBA player video y'all want to see too. And I'll bring it to y'all. Um, yeah, road to 37 billion subs. And yeah, <laughs> check out the 2K24 playlist if y'all want to see old videos. And yeah, that's it.